Hey, what's up, it's fucking Snow, and welcome to another episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today, we have Morbid Angel Domination, which I just found at my local record store. They just got it in. Like, the packages were just being opened as I came in. Very stoked. Got a very good deal on it. But, bummed. There's no lyric sheet or anything, like compared to like the earache reissues and stuff like this is uh through giant and warner brothers this is when death metal tried to go mainstream and sadly fell on their face i mean i hate to say it but it did like <laughs> it just didn't work and it wasn't meant to work. Like, extreme music is meant to be fucking extreme. It's meant to be fucking brutal. It's not, you know. Fucking. Remember this music video and, like, ECW t shirts? Like, like, this is a Morbid Angel lineup, again, that I really like. Like, I like Trey, Dave, Eric, and Pete. Like, I like them a lot. Like, don't get me wrong, David Vincent is amazing, and I, I love fucking Alters of Madness with all of my heart, but these records are just so different, like, and it, it's very refreshing sometimes. I'm not sure if that's even the proper word, but, like, even though the artwork is disgusting on this record, it's a fucking abomination. I'm sorry, guys. It's just, look at that. It's... It's like somebody spewed on MS Paint with, and then just fucking gave it to a three-year-old and said, make some lava or something and, you know, put our evil logo down here. But, like, I love the, the green Morbid Angel font, but everything else compared to Dan Seagrave's artwork of, like, gateways and stuff, this is bullshit. And Formula's Fatal of Flesh and Heretic also suffer from shitty artwork, in my opinion. But, uh, as you're hearing right now, this is where the slime live. And they, they had a music video for this, a single. It was on MTV, and you could get lucky. And, you know, hit the record button on your fucking metal uh, compilation VCR tape along with your, uh, you know, Cinemax pornography. <laughs> and uh, other greasy shit, or just cool stuff. I used to have a bunch of, uh, like, Simpsons episodes, like, if there's, like, a horror movie on, I would record that, like, I was, I don't know, I was real into that shit when I was younger, and, uh, I guess DVR took that over, which is kind of a bummer, because you could, like, go to your friend and just be like, yo, can I borrow your, uh, Simpsons compilation, too? And they'll be like, oh yeah, dude, here you go. And I'd be like, fucking A, man. Like, that's sick. But the back artwork here, like, Steve Tucker just looks ridiculous. I, I know you can't see, there's a weird glare. But if you have this record or a CD just, or cassette, just look at Steve Tucker. Jesus Christ. But I don't care, it's awesome. It's heavy as fuck. And this is when their management was based out of Seabright, New Jersey. Very evil place, if you didn't know. <laughs> this is a great record, and it just really is, like, kind of swept under the rug for a lot of, like, Morbid Angel fans, especially, like, diehard ones. And I, I consider myself a pretty diehard Morbid fucking Angel fan. Like, I really love this band, besides, you know, Heretic and ill bullshit jerk off and then the subsequent remix which was an even bigger joke like i had uh morbid angel on my ipad on a uh, spotify shuffle and sadly some songs came on from uh their last record i think it's called i am morbid it seriously sounded like a marilyn manson b-side and i know that's been said before but seriously that's what the fuck it sounds like it sucks. It sounds nothing like this crushing beast that used to be Morbid Angel. Like, what the fuck happened, guys? Where did this steer off course? Because Gateways is badass. I don't know what the fuck happened with Heretic. It's just such a weird fucking record. I, I remember when I got it, I thought it was just like a bunch of the 
you know, demos or something weird, but it wasn't. And then to come out with that bullshit, it was a real big disappointment, but you guys don't owe me shit. You put out some great fucking records, and I'm glad to have this in my hand right now. I'm proud to own this and add this to my collection. And for everybody that's just joining, like, thank you so much. I appreciate the support. It's badass. I do not support Rhino Rocktober, but since they got this record in my hand, I do thank them. Um, Joe at Goodies said that uh, there's this Black Friday sale coming up, and if I wanted anything, it's like a record store day type thing, but only through indie, um, you know, record store chains. So he's like, if you want anything, let me know. There's going to be special releases and whatnot. So I'm like, oh, fucking sick. Like, so I'm, I'm like trying not to go back and spend all my money at the record store. There's so much shit I want right now that's in there. It's like, God damn it. As soon as this caught my eye, there's two copies of these. There's an art copy of these at Goodies Disc Exchange. So, Joe, that's a plug. And if you're watching this and you live in Ridley, Goodies Disc, Ex Goodies Disc Exchange, call them. Tell them to hold this for you. There's one copy left. Get it. It's fucking amazing. It's not colored. There's no fucking insert or anything. It's just this. And some fucking heavy as shit evil music inside. And if you're a Morbid Angel fan and you hated this record, I just suggest giving it another chance. And if you still hate it, then you still hate it. There's nothing I can do about it. So, I just recommend it. I give it a, um, probably an 8.5 out of 10. Only because of the artwork. Because if I was a little kid and I saw this artwork, no, I would not purchase this at all. It looks, like I said, it looks like bullshit. But I love those vocals. Like, if you listen to the new Blood Incantation, there's parts where it seriously sounds like this. And it's, oh my god, it's so amazing. Like, what a great fucking record Star Spawn is. Like, Blood Incantation. Check those dudes out. Check out my review of theirs. It's like one of my first Vital Vinyl vlogs, or second one. But anyway, Morbid Angel Domination. 8.5 out of 10. There's one copy left at Goodies Disc Exchange in Ridley Township called Joe. He will hold it for you, probably, if you hurry up. Get this shit. Because the more death metal you buy from there, the more he'll order. Trust me. So, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for subscribing. This was a short episode. I just wanted to thank Goodies This Exchange for just being a rad fucking record store and, you know, keeping it real throughout these years. They sold my band CDs. Like, thank you, Greg Trainer. Thank you, Joe. You guys are fucking the best. Thanks for watching. You guys are also the best.